Hello there, and welcome back to another Demogen Tries, where I, Demogen, will be trying a game. It's a very clever series title. Um, and today I'm going to be trying this, Eagle Island, which came out... Oh, actually, it's been a month now, which shows you how long I've had this demo installed. Um, this is the Eagle Island demo. It is a 2D platformer with roguelite elements that is apparently inspired by falconry or something like that i saw the the trailer of it about a month ago thought that looks interesting i'll try that uh, and, and then got sidetracked by final fantasy 14 shadowbringers a lot so we're finally getting around to trying the demo and we're gonna uh, leap straight into it to see what it is about uh, play demo. There are different difficulty levels. So casual starts you off with 6 HP plus blue chests that contain hearts. Uh, I guess we'll go with core because that's the core gameplay. I'm using an Xbox One controller for this. Okay, so... Jump is on A. Yes, I still have to look at the buttons because despite having it owned an Xbox controller for, what, 20 years or so now, still don't know what buttons were. Um, oh. So you can throw your birdie. <laughs> I don't like that sound that it makes when it hits things. Um, but yeah, you can throw your birdie in any of eight directions. I wonder if that changes... Oh, no. Let's stick with those controls. Uh, up on the D-pad. Fast travel. You can move with the D-pad or analog... Oops. <laughs> that just exits the demo. I'm assuming it doesn't do that in the actual game. Um, wait, what? Procedural generation is in play. Clearly. Take that. Combo monsters to do something. Ah! Ah, not quite far enough. Uh, B to hold feather. Oh, to change feather. Oh, I've, uh, okay. I've changed my birdie. Woo! And you have to do that each time by the look of it. Press X to launch Koji. Koji the Owl. To use an elemental feather, a falconer must expend a mana rock. Those are the blue things above our head. When playing, core difficulty, light difficulty. Square bracket. Or hardcore difficulty. Earn mana rock by defeating monsters in quick succession. A four times combo will earn a heart. So... We can heal. I've got a little... No, it's just the animation. Uh... So you actually have to hit the enemy in order to get the bonus. Ow! Oh, okay. Those things hit kind of hard. I uh, don't know if I've got a breath bar. Yeah, so... Uh... Oh! Heh! <laughs> Game over! Safe gif! No oh, thanks. <laughs> Right. So I want to kill all four in succession. Nice shot. It's quite particular about... Is 
the uh, the collision hitbox. Oh, so you don't need to do d d d d. You can still. There is a, a, an easy time to it. So one, two, and then you get about a half second or so. It's ching ching. Right. Ow. So I think we get. Hmm. What the? What hit me? Interesting that when your bird's out, obviously you've got no, uh... You've got no defense. Also interesting is multiple pathways. Okay, a crow chest. I don't have enough silver coins. Traits. Cody flies further when attacking. We get four trait slots. Oh, you can actually. You can once you if you put, hold down the attack button, you can aim him a little bit, and then he just automatically fly off. Right, enemies don't respawn. Currently. Oh. Balls. I need some health back. Some mana rocks. Gain an additional three mana rock slots. Oh, I see. I, I was wondering why I could open those chests. It's because I, the money up there is five gold and twenty-three silver. No. Quite difficult, actually, to... Hello? Welcome, traveller. Buy anything you like with your silver coins. Recover a health point. Increase maximum health. Display chests and warp points on the map. Spring jump. We've already got that. Uh, let's increase our maximum health. Ah, so we've got an extra heart container up there now. Oh no, those aren't gold and silver. I think those are silver and... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Fast travel points uh, now easy to see. File. Uh, I have to collect these, I assume, yeah. The, uh, the animation is very charming. Feels very fluid. I'm wondering if there are secrets. Hello? No! Oh, a little dandelion. Ooh. Right, so this... Yeah, that seems to be the way forward. So down here. Oh. 
Oh, that's a bomb. There's a lot of little ambient stuff in the background. Oh, hi, friends. No. Oh. The Cheng. And the two contractors back. Uh, hmm. Do I have a map screen? Oh, I can use the right, um, right and left bumper to switch between the feathers. That's a, that's a lot easier than whatever it was holding down B. No map screen apparently, but we do have this rather cool UI. Swim, Alchemy glow, monster log, runestone log. Settings. Didn't get any of these previously. Render pixel. Low health beep. I like that you can turn that off. Gameplay tweaks. Okay, I'll uh you know, I suppose for this, I'll I'll take a look. 360 aiming. Permanent rune stones. Interesting. But they have a core departure. Oh, a departure from the core. Gameplay. That's interesting. So that there is an option should you require them. Three sixty aiming actually will probably mess me up more than it will help. Uh, can't open that. Don't have the cash. The, uh, the music is very nice as well. Ching! That... Mm. Missed. Missed. Seventy-seven. Still don't have that. Ah, so if you hit those from above to kill them, you don't take their annoying cloud damage. Oh. What the hell are you? Ah! Ow. Oh, we're going left this time. Do, do I really need to go through this every time? But yeah, it being roguelite. I don't know. Can you fall off the edge here? <laughs> Saved! Right. Yeah, the collision detection is quite particular. Uh, 
And obviously the uh, the upgraded things that we got. Oh. There's quite a lot of momentum on his jumps. Ugh. See what I mean about the collision detection? Come on. Ugh. Monsters drop a bonus gold seed when hit. Okay. Yeah, it, it's it's actually maybe a little bit too particular. Man, let's go to first feather, display chest. I don't think that's actually all that useful. Yeah, the um The combo system to regain health is cool and all, but with the the aiming and hitboxes being so particular. I don't think it's something you can rely on. It feels a lot more methodical. Things. Ooh. I, I don't know what these gold things that I'm collecting are. So the silver is obvious. I, I, I don't get the currency system. Oh. And start all over again. See, th th this, this is the problem with... With the road lights. It's like you don't get to experience a lot of the charm the game has unless you can also deal with the frustration that goes with it. Oh. But at least I've got a counter of how many enemies I've killed. Yay, a load of gold seeds that have just fallen off the edge of the map. Drill. Oh, there's nothing I can do about it. So even from there, maybe not. A little bit inconsistent, that. I'm sure there are some people already that are really, really good at stringing together combos and stuff, but I don't think the aiming's good enough for that. Oh, I'm still going to get hit by that. So you'd think, sometimes it fires it down the slope. It, it's, as I said, it's very, very particular about the collision. I think it needs to be a little bit less particular. And... I, I want to know what you keep between runs. Because that's what makes or breaks roguelites for me. What do you keep? 
What do you lose? Press A as Quill impacts the ground and he will spring high in the air. Buying. Okay, that's cool, but I can't really say it would be massively useful for anything that we've seen so far. Oh, Ooh, that's got some new things. What's that? A lightning bolt strikes Koji when using... Don't know why I'd want a lightning bolt to hit him. Yeah, the, the combo bonus thing is, is good and all, but... It's an absolute pain, I think, to to pull off. Couldn't have bothered with that one. Ah! Also, the fact that Koji needs to return to you before you can um, throw him again. So you can do that. You can... Oh, for God's sake. The in-air controls aren't very good. Oh, look. I get to go through the... Uh... Tutorial again. Because I desperately need that. Oh. Brilliant. Yeah, I, d I think this is uh, very much likely to be a game for other people i like the art style but the the control isn't there it's it's not dead cells let's put it that way one thing i will try though oh and again see see how exacting you have to be with that. Yay, a load of things. Oh! Find it diagonally instead of straight down, because of course I did. Right, one thing I'm going to try. Uh, return to title. Right, so blue chest contains hearts, three times combo drops hearts as opposed to four. Cheaper shopping, two can trade a stays. Let's try it on light. You know, I've got I've got no problems with With trying a game on an easier difficulty. Oh. The actual wind up on the attack animation is quite slow as well. It's not as. It, you know, it's got travel time and stuff. And the thing is, you can't practice because it's procedurally, procedurally, yeah, that because it's procedurally generated. You can't practice a speed run for it either. It's 
not like Dark Souls or something where it's it's the same every time, so you can gradually get better at it. Every time, the enemies are going to be in a different place. I'm quite surprised by the lack of kind of secrety areas, but of course, if it's procedurally generated, then it's not handcrafted, obviously, um, and and that means having things like secrets. Koji bounces off solid surfaces. Boink! So now he's a bouncy owl thing. Yeah, you know, ha having secrets and stuff it is kind of... I, I do feel like the aiming will just do my head in in this. Actually, let's... um. Oh no, not those. Gameplay tweaks. Achievements are unavailable using these options. Uh, did that save or... Apparently... Do I have to... Hold on, what's the... Ooh. Not a huge fan of those controls. Yeah, let's um left, right, up, down, jump. Oh. Feathers or back. Left, right. Yeah, you can't can't bind mouse button to the control. I don't I don't get it. How can you have 360 aiming if you can't see which direction you're aiming in? I don't understand. Toucan? What's that? Lift jump. Monsters drop gold bonus. Let's have the heart. Save our cash up. Uh, we can go up or down. Hmm. Or can we? Ah, yes, we can. Fantastic. And up this way. Get out of here. Gotcha. Yeah. The, uh, thing. 
A new fire there. Fiery? Magua's Feather. Launch an explosive attack to hit many foes. Watch your mana mark meter. See, I like that as a concept. I like that a great deal. Elemental imbu imbued attacks. But you're going to lose it every single time you die. Oh. Cash. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't go and collect the cash for you. Ah, the fact that he bounces helps there. Ooh, double the warthog, triple the fun. Right, right. And further, are, th are these rune stones then? Did it as it said that already? Because the option about them not breaking was interesting. And an additional ma three mana lock slots. So that will enable us to. I suppose we should use the fiery one just to see what it's like. Sweet. Uh, more maximum hearts. Ah, don't want any of those. Oh. A new biome. Fancy Urks, bloody things. There are a lot of um, little kind of critters and stuff. Little enemies in the background. Which are all well and good, but if it's the first time through an area, you don't know if they're enemies or not. Spring jump. Uh, we'll have the boing because I like the sound effect mostly. Ah, mind you, oh, that's actually going to throw me. Oh, he took damage from the... Yeah, that spring jump's actually going to throw me, I think. Oh, hello. More birdies. Ah! Yeah, so... I suppose it makes sense that we take... That the birdie... That the birdie takes damage. But in a game that relies on you attacking, I'm not entirely sure that's a great choice. Oh. What the hell are you things? Um, where'd you go? Uh... Gotcha. Give me stuff. Ice feather. Icarus Feather. Launch an icy attack to freeze foes. So 
So those purple rooms seem to be... Oh no! Minecart's it. Right, as it turns sideways. That wasn't too bad. Oh, that apparently counts as not part of the level. No. Oh, there's an enemy there. Start screen. 10 minutes, 30 seconds, 24 out of 33 rooms, total seeds, 229. I I'm assuming 24 out of 33 rooms is until like the next level, where I guess there's maybe a checkpoint? Or maybe there's just 33 rooms in the demo. Skipped monsters. I'm, I'm kind of intrigued as to what the... That's kind of weird. It gives you an entire timeline. That's... Kind of bizarre. But interesting and, and kind of vaguely cool at the same time. There we go. That is Eagle Island. I can see a lot of potential in this, and I think for people that like roguelites and really charming pixel art, I don't get me wrong, it's a really nice looking game. Good looks, good movement. In theory, great systems. You know, I like the room system, I like the mana rock system, I like the, the switching between feathers. I just wish it, wish it wasn't a roguelite. That's what it boils down to. Um, the... The aiming mechanics and hitting enemies is fine, but not for a roguelite. You, know, you need your controls to be 100% tight and to do as expected with a little bit of leeway. Um, because otherwise it feels unfair. And currently this does not quite feel as fair as I would like. Um, if I was to, again, compare it to something like Dead Cells, controls are exceptionally tight. Hitboxes feel natural on that. Throwing the bird on this, it's a cool mechanic. But it doesn't kind of connect where you expect it to. And the lack of control in jumping is a, it's a bit of a deal breaker for me, unfortunately. So I'm kind of glad that they have this demo as opposed to making you pay the full game, pay for the full game, and then, in my case, inevitably refund it because whilst i think there's a lot to like in this game it's not for me if it is for you however if you've played eagle island in the month or so since it's been released tell me what changes as we get further on what have i missed did you f struggle with the controls does it get easier what does that 360 aiming control do because it doesn't seem to do much of anything and for disabling achievements um that's a bit of a compromise that i don't think i'd be willing to take either way out now for nintendo switch see this actually might be an interesting game to play on the switch because it, it is by its very nature short and bursty um but i feel like it might get a little bit too repetitive um too quickly and that's not good that's not good it's not oh no that's not for me if you like that kind of thing Right, um, but it, do it doesn't feel like there's an obvious way for me to get better sh short of perfecting pixel perfect aiming and on a controller nah not for me not for me either way an interesting experience hopefully you have enjoyed watching me uh experience it 
trying it for the first and only time, I would imagine. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers, folks. It'll be. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe. Remember to ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, toodle pip.